Here at the 2011 ASCO conference, we're all very much aware you need a little hope in oncology and you need a little faith. And right now we have with us Dr. Faith Davies from the Royal Marston Hospital in London, England. Thanks for stopping by. Nice to see you. Let's talk about uh, your study, bisphosphonate treatment in multiple myeloma, should they be used until progression. What can you tell us about the design of this work? So this is a randomized phase three clinical study where we compared patients who are newly diagnosed with myeloma and received either an intravenous bisphosphonate zolodronic acid or an oral bisphosphonate clodronic acid. And we looked at over 2,000 patients and we were particularly interested in how long we should be giving the bisphosphonate for. So um, what we showed was that Firstly, if patients have one skeletal-related event, so that's if they have either a new fracture or a bone, new bone lesion, that you should continue with the um, uh, bisphosphonate um, because particularly if you continue with the zomita, then you can reduce their risk of um, getting a second skeletal-related event. The second thing we showed was that when a patient has got into a good response, we should also continue with the bisphosphonate and those patients who received the meter for um, a long time after they um, went into a good response had a much less risk of getting a second skeletal related event. And then the third thing we showed was that the patients that received the zolodronic acid had an increase in their overall survival to those patients who received clodronate. And importantly, this increase in overall survival was not only seen at the beginning of their disease, but was also seen as they continued their treatment through their disease. Of all your research findings, what was most significant or exciting to you? I think the first one is it's the first time we've ever shown an increase in survival with a bisphosphonate. So those patients that had zolodronic acid had an increase in survival of 5.5 months. I think also the second thing I'd say is there's always been a discussion and a debate how long you should carry on the bisphosphonate for. And some people have said you should stop at an early time point, say six months. Other people have said you should stop after two years. And what our study clearly shows is that you should continue with the bisphosphonate throughout the patient's disease course because that way they get the maximum benefit um, and they get the maximum decrease in their um, skeletal related events and the maximum improvement in their survival if they receive zolodronic acid compared to clodronate. Faith, I know you're hoping people will take action on your research findings. Now you've just got some wrapping up to do? We do, yes. Yeah. So um, we've got a few further analyses that we need to do. And we're actually also going to um, take another look at the patients. The data we've presented so far has been after a medium follow-up of just over three years. And we're actually looking at those patients again, and so we'll go on and present some further data at a medium follow-up of six years. Dr. Faith, thanks for uh, stopping by, coming across the pond to visit with us, as they say, and congratulations on your work. Lovely. Thank you very much for having me. Faith Davies from the Royal Marston Hospital in London, England, here on OncoView.tv at the 2011 ASCO Conference in Chicago.